Brakatha Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai Bahasham Rika Kodash. First and foremost, we give all the glory and the praises to our Heavenly Father Yahawah and His Son Yahawah Shai. I would like to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth in all sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, week in and week out, risking their lives. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Kwam Yashorala. Be prepared to fall seven times. The number seven means completion. Right? So you can fall any amount of times. It just means a complete amount of times. It could be 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. Yeah? Now, is that a bad thing? No. As, as long as you acknowledge your downfall, you must always get back up again. Right? Because our flesh was made to go off and let us down. This is why we need to be changed from corruptible to incorruptible. So let me go to Proverbs 24, verse 16. Let me start from 15. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place. For a just man falleth seven times. And riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So when you think about the righteous, the righteous is Jacob and the wicked is Esau. Jacob is the righteous and Esau is the wicked. What goes up must come down. Okay? Remember that saying? What goes up must come down. But in its spiritual sense, that can work twofold. Yeah? There is a balance to it. Up could mean down, down could mean up, up could mean good, down could mean good, or vice versa. Yes? Because this is the Lord's movie. This is his movie. For instance, Jacob and Esau, yeah? Esau was raised up first, yeah? Above Jacob, he was raised up first. But, although he was raised up first, he's going to be put down. The Lord hated Esau. And our Lord loved Jacob. Let me go to Genesis. The book of Genesis. Twenty five, verse twenty five. And first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. He came up first. 
Remember the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Although Esau came up first, right? He was raised up first. He's going to be put back down, right? Whatever goes up must come down. Let me go to the book of um, 2 Ezra 6 verse 9. And it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So although, Esau, although Jacob followed behind Esau, right? Because you remember, Esau came up first. He was raised up first. He is still considered the end. So although Jacob came up last, he is considered the beginning. You see how everything is twofold, how the most I could work? I'll read it again. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Although he came up first, the Lord lifted him up, lifted him up to put him back down. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right? So when you think about it, <clears throat> when we think about it, Esau is going to be put down for good. He was given the fatness of the earth. He was given the riches of the earth. And he's going to be taken right off him. Yahushai ascended into heaven. And that is in Acts, the first chapter, verse 9. Okay, I get it quickly. Acts chapter 1, verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him. He was taken up. Out of their sight. And that was a chariot. A chariot that took up Yahushai. He ascended into heaven. Right? But Yahushai is going to come back again. You see, he went up and he's going to come back down again. First Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend. First he ascended. He was taken up into the cloud. Right? He was raised up into the cloud. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahusha Hamashiach shall be raised, shall rise first. Let me go further. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Yeah, we're going to be raised up. To meet the Lord in the air. Where is the air? In the clouds. We're going to raise up into the clouds. 
so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Because this is going to be, this will happen. This will come to pass. All right? You see, the Lord loves us so much that he put us down. The Lord had put us down to a lower state. Because that's why a righteous man fell. He falls seven times. This is how it goes. We are all righteous at one time and the Lord put us down because of our wrongdoings. And he's going to lift us up back again. Yeah? So Esau was raised up and he's going to be put down for good. And then we are being put down and we're going to be raised up for good. Okay? So it's a bad thing when a man, when a man falls seven times. It's for the Lord's purpose. It's for his purpose to teach us a lesson. So it's a good thing that the Lord put us down because he's going to rise us back up again. So what goes up must come down. What comes down must go up. And this is when, Lord willing, we are chosen that we're going to meet the Lord in the air. Right? We're going to meet the Lord in the air. i say that again in 1 Thessalonians verse 6. Uh, no, verse 4. Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. Okay, no, no, let me start from the beginning, right? For the Lord himself shall descend, right? He's going to come back down. Because you remember he ascended into heaven. The same way how the Lord put us down, he's going to, he's going to rise us back up again. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh Shai Hamashak shall rise first. That's who died in the work, doing the work, serving the Lord. They're going to be risen first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord can't wait for that <laughs> cannot wait Lord willing we cannot wait the Lord favors us yeah the Lord is going to descend to bring us back up again yeah a just man falls seven times. But we just have to get back up again. That's what Yahushai wants us to do. We fell. He wants us to acknowledge our sins. He wants us to repent so he could raise us back up again. It's all about raising us up in the air, to meet him in the clouds, to be with him in the clouds, in the chariots. What goes up must come down. Yahushai went up and he's going to come back down. Brakothi Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rikar Kudash. Peace and blessings. And we must comfort one another with these words. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 
Praise be to Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Amen. So be true.